Welcome to Rope Dropping Knowledge, where we guide you through the magic of Disney. Hey. Well, <laughs> hello again. Hello again to me, but to you guys, <laughs> it's your first hello. Because uh. we did record this. <laughs> The yeah. day before Thanksgiving, and yeah, we lost it. Yeah, I think that it's um, you have like a technology curse. Me, I didn't do anything. But if you admit that you do have a technology curse, yeah, that's why I don't touch it. And but I think I depend on you. You've been with me for so long; it's spread. It's like a, <sighs> it's communicable. <laughs> but um. I don't know why, and I had to go through. It was it was it was an ordeal, because I had to. I got this new Rodecaster Pro two, and it's nice and fancy and all this stuff. We recorded a whole hour, probably one of the best episodes we ever did. It was one of the best. Yeah, I was quite witty. <laughs> I was quite witty. <laughs> <laughs> um, I yeah. don't know if I can recreate it. Yeah. <laughs> so. It was one of those things where I, w- I was angry. I, 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 and then we had Thanksgiving. The next day. Yeah. So <laughs> it's kind of like, well, okay, this is done. I don't know how to fix it. I think I have a, a bad unit or a bad card or a bad computer. I replaced all three this weekend. <laughs> you went yeah. Black Friday shopping. <laughs> I, went, I went Black Black Friday. <laughs> you went real Black Friday shopping. You got everything new. <laughs> Everything new. And so if it still messes <laughs> up, I don't know. We'll cancel I was whole... like, hey, let's just record on a computer like old school style and see. What... Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to turn on my voice memo. In case we lose this, at least we have my voice memo <laughs> you can listen to. Well, when you were gone, I did. Um... Well, you know that um, I'm part Jamaican, right? You? Yeah. You didn't know no, that? No, I didn't know that. Oh. Uh, Genetically, anyway, in my Did you family. do a 23 and Me or something? Uh, it was in the adoption notes my mom had. Oh, really? So I had the ability to channel voodoo, I just assumed. <laughs> and well, so I'm I, Vietnamese. And so I was trying to remove... We're known for voodoo, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like... Fo- we're not known for voodoo, but we're... Fafu. We believe in that stuff. Fodu. Yeah. <laughs> So I I had to, I tried to exercise the curse that you your of your technology <laughs> while you were gone because you went and saw Moulin Rouge, yeah. And I had to come back home and fight your technology curse <laughs> by just buying everything new. <laughs> that's your that's your fight of technology. I, I said, hey, curse, what are you doing? I am the technology curse of <laughs> crazy. I will never leave you. I will plague you for all eternity. And I was like, no, that's not good. <laughs> I think that's too scary for kids to hear. Yes, your curse. Of course it's scary. <laughs> it's very, very scary. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I finally convinced it to leave. But I don't know if it's lying. It's it's a curse. A bunch I of evil know. evil Did spirits. You, like backup record something just in case. No. Why not? I told you to. Because it's, it doesn't matter. Tech is tech. If it's a curse. It doesn't matter unless I just have like a person that's human Most repeating the time what we say. When I think it's a curse, my boss would be like, "That was user error. That wasn't a curse." <laughs> It's not user error. It's me. Your technology curse. <laughs> so, yeah. Still floating around there in the ether. Hmm. We'll figure out a way. I'm collecting infinity stones. Anyways. <laughs> well, we have to announce the one spoiler entry. We did put it on Instagram, but we have it. We announced it on Wednesday in the recording that nobody heard. <laughs> <laughs> but only one person stayed on to listen to our Tales of the Jedi 
spoiler review. Right. Cue party of two. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have to do a drawing. Nope. Thankfully. And so cue party of two is our winner. Yeah. And, <laughs> and she gets an extra prize for being yeah. the only one who yeah, answered. Yeah. I don't punish. I reward. <laughs> so for those of you who don't like spoil spoilers, we're going to spoil those who do. <laughs> So I, not only is she getting the Count Dooku Funko giant size pin, she's getting an Ahsoka Funko Pop. Yes. Classic Ahsoka. But you said that one of your friends complained that not everyone has time to watch everything the minute it comes out like you do. <laughs> so. It's not that we have time, which is prioritizing. It's like anything yeah. else in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't stay up till midnight to watch the Andor finale, but we watched it the next day. <laughs> so. In the Immortal Words of Kevin, if you haven't seen Black Panther, Wakanda fans are you? <laughs> Wakanda. Kevin said that? <laughs> yeah. Kevin, the one who doesn't, <laughs> hasn't seen all the Avengers and doesn't even know who Doctor Strange is. <laughs> I can't. It was a good line. Some of the best lines in history don't come from people who follow through. <laughs> but... This may be a short episode because we're just trying to get something out. We, I was so angry. I was just like, we're not doing one this week. We may cancel. No, you were like, RDK is over. We're not doing any more podcasts <laughs> anymore. RDK is over. It's done. I was like, <laughs> okay, wow. And you, got, <laughs> and you started crying. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just left you alone. I just let you be. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just going to go pack. <laughs> But now, like the holiday, well, Thanksgiving's over. We came back last night, Sunday. I did all my replacement shopping, so we'll see if this works. Me Friday. Today's Sunday. Yeah, I said today's Sunday. Oh, oh, oh. I said you came back last night. I came back last night. Right. And so now it's like we actually have a day. Um, we could sit down. We could test this new equipment, and we'll see if it works. So let's just get right into it. Yeah, I guess, unless you've been under a rock, <sighs> JPEG is gone. But you know what? No, unless you've not been under a rock, because a lot of our cousins didn't even know what was going on. It's like, hey, we heard something, Th some There's Disney two news. crowds who knew this. It, yeah. It's the inside <laughs> the Disney, Disney people. The Disney people who are pay close attention to that, and business people. Yeah. And our cousins were like, hey, we heard something going on with Disney, so, yeah. and who's Iger? And so, <laughs> I'm like, what? We'll discuss okay. this in two parts, but yes. Chapek is gone. <laughs> so, and I, I never hated Chapek. I made fun of Chapek. Yeah. <laughs> I criticized Chapek. As Campia said, he's, you know, I'm sure he's a good guy. He's somebody's father. He's, you know, yeah. somebody's brother, somebody's son. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's son. You can say that literally about everyone on death row. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's <True>. son. Somebody's. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's gone. And throughout the last couple years, you know, ever since JPEG came on, I don't. I think he's just shy of you know three years. Mm -hmm. And we always said, uh, you know, he's the problem with a guy like JPEG. It's not that he's a bad guy. And I've always said this. There's CEOs that you do not know their name who affect your lives way more mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. People who are head of insurance companies, people who are heads of, you know. Healthcare. Healthcare. I mean, how many people know the CEO of their own car manufacturer? Not many. You couldn't name it. You know what I mean? Nope. How many people know the CEO of, like, you know, well, a lot of just people a medical device they use. Yeah, or, or a lot of people watch YouTube. Right. Nobody knows the CEO of you. I don't know if nobody knows, but well, well, how many people, people know the CEO of YouTube? I only knew because we read that article yeah. <laughs> about the the mother who raised five CEOs or whatever, three CEOs, mm. two, mm -hmm. two CEOs and a doctor. Yeah. yeah. But that's nobody knows, and YouTube's yeah. pretty popular. But Disney is a. I always say it's a B two C company. That means business to customer, mm -hmm. business to consumer, mm -hmm. and. Not only is it a B2C company, because most B2C companies are usually small businesses yeah. or medium-sized businesses. It's like, you know, 
you you walk into a restaurant, they give you food. That's that's a typical transaction B to C, yeah, right? Right. And even medium sized companies that are you know B to C, you know, let's say you uh, a car dealership, mm-hmm. you know, or a chain of car dealerships, I guess would be a medium sized company. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I guess maybe even a car manufacturer, if they don't have too many government contracts, and they just in the most of their um, revenue comes from people actually going into stores and buying their stuff, mm-hmm. that would be a B to C, you know. But there's not too many mega corps that are B to C. Yeah. Most mega corps, you know, are B to B. B to B. That's yeah. where the real money's made. Yeah. Um, if you've watched Silicon Valley, like the very like first couple episodes, you know, it's like they're trying to create this app to where, you know, it it can it's an algorithm for music and all this. And and the the rich guy who wants to buy it, it's like, dude, they're always so customer facing. That's not where the money is. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know? If you have an algorithm that can do this, it can do so many things for businesses around the world and you know, and the average person will never even see it or know they're using it. And and that's like Amazon. I mean, everyone thinks Amazon, you know, is, is ordering it, stuff online. Yeah, yeah, people who order stuff online. That that's what Amazon's business is. It's like that's kind of what it started as, but but that's not their main. Their revenue. main business is, is is in IT. It's in yeah. servers, server hosting. use, hosting, and uh, that's why if Amazon gets mad at you, uh, and if you're a company, you're in trouble. Mm-hmm. You know, when they talk about Parler. Um, that the conservative, uh, everyone's talking about Twitch right now. Twitter, I mean. Twitter, yeah. Yeah, and but Parla was one that was like kind of like the conservative alternative. Uh-huh. It, it got destroyed. Why? Because Amazon was like, we're kicking you off our servers. Mm. And if they kick you off your servers, you're done. Mm. And, and and they can do that to anyone. So it's kind of scary, regardless of your political <laughs> affiliation. Yeah, yeah. That's how powerful they are. That's what, But nobody complains about that because you don't see it. Yeah. Chapek is in charge of pixie dust and <laughs> magic rye, magic and, 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 and Avengers and, and <laughs> Luke Skywalker. And when you're in charge of those type of things, everybody's going to have an instant opinion of you. Yes, especially uh, now gonna, with social media. They're going to judge every move you make, every step you take. And so... It's not that I feel bad for him. I don't feel bad for anybody who was making 30-something million a year. Yeah, and he got a pretty <laughs> nice golden parachute. Yeah, but I, I do think you can have empathy. For, I, my, my whole thing is you should have empathy for everyone. Mm-hmm. Seven, all, I think we're almost approaching 8 billion people on the planet. Mm-hmm. You should have empathy for every one of them because empathy is basically saying I can understand or at least I can try to understand how a person could get to this particular point. Even if they're an axe murderer, mm-hmm. I, I yeah. well, if, yeah, yeah. if I look back and this guy was beaten by his mom for the first ten years of his life, and his dad was an alcoholic, and he was abused in all these ways, that does does that excuse the action? No. Does that mean that there's no consequences for those actions? No. It just means yeah, try to understand. I see how he got there. I see how he got there. You know, um, that's why I like Anakin. <laughs> yeah, empathy is, is, yeah. empathy is a good thing to have. And because a lot of people, <laughs> like this guy who just got fired for Twitter, well, he got, he's getting twenty million, $25 million on his way out. I feel bad. Well, yeah, I mean, if but if you're already at that level and you are making that money, you're not worried about money, you're trying to do a good job, and for someone to come along and fire you, regardless of whether you were doing a good job or not, right. no one likes being fired. Right. And especially if you thought that you were contributing, right? Yeah. And so... We could get into how Chapek was fired because of that was. That's what I felt bad about. Yeah, that I thought was wrong. They didn't, how they fired him. He, he got he know. got a Lincoln. Yes, <laughs> they got him at the theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like okay. Now I'm like okay. He's somebody's grandpa now. Like you can't just do that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm and you know me. I'm always the villain sympathizer so <laughs> um anakin you know yeah. so <laughs> i don't call him vader because he's anakin now, yeah, anakin was this wrong. is a, we're gonna definitely we have our critical things to say about him and we'll say about some more stuff in this episode but he was about to introduce elton john on a live stream for yep, disney that Plus. was sunday yeah last sunday the sunday that we heard the news Mm -hmm. the same Sunday we heard the news and so here's the thing there's stuff coming out written oh he resigned or he wanted to step down 
BS. <laughs> he was at the theater, and th- and this is from. So, for those of you who who are who have, well, it doesn't really matter what kind of job you have. I I, I always recommend Lincoln. It, LinkedIn. It's a better gossip <laughs> thing than any. Type yeah, it's of, turned into quite the gossip forum. But the the thing is, it's not like gossip, like oh, about this celebrity. It's about insiders d- DMing me about what's going on with their companies. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't know why people do that, but they, they, you know, if you get to be friends with somebody and they know you're a Disney fan, I have people who are like, "Ooh, like this is a hey, Brian. Mm. This is what happened. This is mm. this is da 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 da. I was I was here, and this is what I saw. Mm-hmm. You know." And you never you're not gonna get that on Instagram <laughs> or yeah, anything because yeah, yeah. it's not business focused. Yeah. But from what I hear, um he was there, the news broke. He got the news. The same time we did. But it was like it was like minutes before uh, maybe. Uh-huh. We did. And all of a sudden he starts him and Kareem Kareem Daniels. And maybe a couple other people started heading for the ex- exits, mm. and then all of a sudden, just like in like those disaster movies where, <laughs> where like somebody you know they're at a press conference and then you know it's, it's happened. Yeah. They use this scene in a few movies where yeah, yeah. one one you get one, the news. You, all of a sudden you hear like a yeah, and then somebody and it's like that interrupts a, the like press John conference. Is like I'm sorry, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like a John Wick scene, and all of a sudden all of these you know a thousand points of light. Like all right, these yeah. cell phones start lighting up at once with Twitter alerts. Yeah. And it's like Chapex gone. And it's like <laughs> <laughs> That's I, it, sad. You know what? As bad as he is, it's like why Elton you John didn't do even like get that? a heads up. Why you like just give him the tell him on Friday or Monday. Elton Wait John till Monday. About singing and all of a sudden it's just like goodbye yellow brick road. <laughs> and then <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> it's like the end of usable suspense. And like that. <laughs> He's gone, you know. <laughs> and it was just, and yeah. then I always said, you know, for somebody who's been in HR, it's like I've had to deal with people who may have, you know, separate what we call separation. Yeah. With people who may even be violent. Right. And I'm there in the same room with them, looking them in the eye. Chapek is not going to beat anybody up. <laughs> Chapek is not going he's to not stealing insert any, he's not a code. Steal the, yeah, exactly. You know, the, right? he doesn't have the access to the Disney vault where he's going to start deleting Snow White. Now, the Twitter <laughs> people I saw when they were told they were getting let go even hours before, mm-hmm. right? They went ahead and did a billboard thing on the sign saying yeah. Elon Musk, blah, 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 like yeah. all these bad things. Now, that's something that you do yeah. right away. Yeah. But the, even if somebody has the power to sabotage the business, yeah, one you could be sued for that, and you could lose your severance, right? So if you're getting millions of dollars on the way out, yeah. I wouldn't do it. Huh. But two, you can still say, "Hey, this guy's going to be out next week." Let's say he's going to be out in two days. Yeah, you know, but somebody knew before he did. Nobody made that decision that hour. Right, right, right. You don't get Bob Iger on board in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so, so people well, knew beforehand. Yeah. yeah. So. You could still take security precautions right. and still have a sit down with him right? and be like, hey. And I always say, you know, and again, I learned this from social work, what, any type of situation that's going to be stressful, awkward, whatever, I say gone in 60 seconds. And I learned that from um, my very first supervisor, uh, Karen. Her name's Karen. <laughs> <laughs> And she said, "That's how." And it sounds horrible, but when you remove kids, you you're gone in sixty seconds. By the time you hit the door, until the time everything's gone and they see your tail lights, it mm-hmm. should be sixty seconds, because you don't want to get into a debate about something that's so personal, so devastating mm-hmm. to a family. Because first of all, there's no winning that debate when you already know what's going to happen. Yeah. So better to talk to them at court, you know, in 48 hours than to be in the driveway and then the neighbors start coming over. What are you doing with those kids? And, and, and they're a good family. And how come you didn't remove the kids across the street? They're, 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 you know, and, 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 you, and, and then, uh, it almost becomes an un, you are making an unsafe environment and you're trying to actually your mission is to actually create a safe environment. Yeah. And so you want to, you know, it's kind of like a SWAT. SWAT team with a with a stun grenade. They don't do yeah. that to um, hurt people. They do that to like, boom, oh, wow. Okay, yeah. you're in cuffs before you know it, and then everyone's safe. Yeah. 
that's what you do. You you come in. This is what's happening. You know. Now, if you want to argue what's happening, it's done. The headline is there, and then you could talk about how do you want to handle this. I think maybe the board is just too chicken, and they don't want it's, to face him, and they just did it through Twitter or whatever. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> that it's it, it. To me, it's just that's not how you do. That's not good HR. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're dealing with a potential active shooter, okay, you yeah, know, well, yeah. <laughs> is Jay back that? <laughs> I don't no, think so. No, I think they just didn't want to face the 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 yeah. awkwardness or whatever that it is, you yeah. know, and they just. But to me, that's part of leadership, and you can't. Yeah, you can't you're firing be. somebody for supposedly bad leadership, and then your first action is to actually exemplify bad leadership. Yes, it, it's yes. that's that's that, I have because a problem with that with somebody isn't in, in it HR. True that Iger was approached on Friday. At least Friday. At least Friday. That's the official statement. He was probably p- approached before that, and he was probably getting hints of that probably throughout the year, probably ever since he left. There's mm. people, we know that there was people wanting him to come back. Right. And then once a big decision was made, he was probably informed, but I, I doubt it was like, you know. Sunday. No, <laughs> when, you, when you make a, an executive decision on a megacorp, yeah. it's not like, hey, would you want to come back? Oh okay. yes, I would. No, there's Let a lot of email, there's man. a lot of consideration that yeah, goes into that yeah. on both parties. So to me, to, to think that he would say, "Oh yeah," I mean, even if I offered any, any of our listeners, if I offered you just a job making what you make now, mm-hmm. right? Let's say it's a ten grand more than what you whatever you make mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm in HR here. I, we're, we're, I have a job for you. I'm gonna offer you ten grand for over what you make now, and, it, and it's the same working conditions. And I can give you slightly better benefits or whatever. So it's a mm-hmm. good deal compared mm-hmm. to what you have. You're not going to say yes in one day. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be like, wait a minute. I need to think about this. Right? Yeah. You know? And, and then you're going to have a lot of questions. You know, do I get to telecommute? Does it, do I, how much is my dra- drive yeah, time? Yeah. Is, is it, do I get the same holidays off? And we got this planned? And how does my 401? I mean, you're going to have a lot of questions. Yes. And that's just for a normal job. Yeah. You think the C, a CEO position of the biggest entertainment company in the world is just you talk to him, hey, you want to do this? Yeah. And then I, <laughs> I got noticed on Friday. I said yes. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I'm not saying it couldn't happen like that, but I doubt skeptical. It. We'll figure skeptical. out how much to pay you later. Just you, 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 Skeptical. Exactly. Yeah, tell me yes or no. Yeah. Tell me yes or no now. You know? yeah, yeah. No. That's uh, just to write up the contract probably takes a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for him, you know, yeah, because you're gonna have to have it vetted by like a whole. Well, even for, for his contract, you're gonna have to have it vetted by an entire department. It's not like one lawyer looking at it. But even the the JPEG severance package is probably had to be yeah looked at for a while. It wasn't like on Sunday they had an amount. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, unless it's it was weird. A, unless it was something that was predetermined and written. So maybe like if we know. if we terminate you early before this time you yeah, get this and, the and then you sign your severance up front it, yeah. that could possibly happen but um but even something like that would still be needed to be looked at they're not just going to be like oh we got this on file issue it no <laughs> <laughs> no they're going to look at it and make sure that they're covered right yeah so um yeah <laughs> uh oh uh oh what's that more technology. <laughs> Google is telling us we need to do our drawing. Yes. Our black panel So it actually drawing. is podcast related. Yes. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so also like what was reported by CNBC and Financial Times mm-hmm. is that the CFO of Walt Disney Company, Christine McCarthy, yeah. led other executives to rebel and oust JPEG months ago. Mm-hmm. So what sped it up was the poor Q3 earnings. Right. So, but she didn't want to be the scapegoat for the low Q3 earnings as the previous, I think she was a CFO, Christine Powell, um, was the fall person for Galaxy's Edge yeah. low attendance. And she's mm-hmm. like, she knew she was going to be blamed next and she might be the one to go next because he was going to blame her yeah. for anything bad, any low earnings. So she's like, she led, you know, a whole rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> and that this was months ago. Right. But yeah. So. Yeah. So, you know, we're thinking it's probably her and 
all the executives, right? Because they're unhappy about their departments being under that DME thing, um, mm -hmm. Disney Media and Entertainment. Yeah, which was led by Kareem Daniels. Uh -huh. And we did a whole episode when he got hired. Yep. We on we mostly it, him. Yeah. And we thought it was weird that Cause he's, a, is he's, he's not he's, a creative. He's, he's not, not an imagineer. Well, he took the power away from all the creatives. Yeah, power he took, away He all took the away creative. their P&Ls, which means you don't make the final decision on anything because your your budgets are not in your control. Yes. So it, so a lot of people don't know what profit and loss statements are. If you have control of your own profit and loss statements, yes, you don't determine how much money you get, but you determine how to allocate that money. Yes. And that's what mean what it means by when someone you have your own PNL. When mm -hmm. you, when somebody takes away that from your department or the head of your department, that means even if the head of your department wants something, they still got to get it signed off by someone else. Yep. And that's horrible in a in a creative institution. Yeah. And Bob Iger was the opposite of right. that. And so, um, Kareem Daniels was kind of the head of that whole division that was overseeing all this, and he was a sales guy. Mm -hmm. And Finance uh, and sales, yeah. And I, I, I keep, and then he was Bob's buddy back in the day. And I, and again, I have empathy for him. And I was telling everybody when he got hired, I was like, hey, I don't want to bash a brother, but hey, <laughs> you know, this, you know, yeah. he's not, he's not qualified to be, be second in command of Disney. <laughs> you know? But if someone offered him the job, you're, yeah. he's not going to say no. I say, look, I have a wife, and let's say this guy's being offered three million a year. You know, if I, if I came to you and I said, hey, Tracy. <laughs> My buddy Bob <laughs> is offering me a, this position that to be in charge of Disney. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Be in charge of what? It could be in charge of trash heap keeping. Whatever. Yeah, but you're getting. I, I, I'm going to be in charge of X, Y, and Z. He's offering me three million a year plus equity, mm -hmm. and I'm not qualified for this job. <laughs> you're going to be like, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Take the damn job. <laughs> I doubt <laughs> Kareem Daniels would be like, oh, M Mr. Shapek, me being in this position is not very good for the company. No, mm. screw that. You're giving me my position. And, and, and yes. since he's Shapek's buddy, I'm yeah. just going off $3 million because I know other like yeah, it's probably way more. executives yeah. in, like, that are getting about that much for same-size mm -hmm. companies. He's, he's Bob's best friend. Yes. In the company, probably. He's his right hand man, yeah. according to. And they know. were like, they came up together. So I wouldn't be surprised if he was getting like Way half more. of half of what he was getting, yeah. like fifteen million. Yeah, three million is us making fun of Don Lemon making one million a yeah. year. With inflation, three million is the one million Don, yeah. Don Lemon. Yeah. So, I don't blame him for taking the position. Yeah. You know, it and was, he's not going to be like, oh, this is not good for the company direction. Mm -hmm. I think I will pass. He's oh. not going to do that. <laughs> Especially if you're already an executive and half of your personality <laughs> is already I can do anything. Yeah. Because that's what executives are. They, yeah. they have to have a certain arrogance. Yeah. You know? And especially if you come from a sales background where people in sales are kind of like the BS artists of every company. You, you kind of need them. Yeah. They're kind of like the goons. Mm -hmm. they, they, they'll never tell you exactly the truth. It's kind of like. It, they're not bad people, but it's like they're there to get deals done. Yeah. Right. And I always said my, you know, my my GGK. Right. This is something I came up with, and I'm writing in my HR book. Mm -hmm. Every social structure, whether it's a company, whether it's your family, I don't care if your, your college group mm -hmm. of, of of people associates, they need one either a gangster. A goon or a Karen. <laughs> you only need you only want one, but you you need one for every group because they're the ones who are going to get the ball across the finish line. You know, into the end zone. Mm. The finish. Yeah, it's no finish line of football, but <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who get things done, um, hook or crook. They're the ones. Uh, if you have a gangster, it's going to be more kind of like an intimidation type. A mm. goon is going to be more pushing people around. Karen is going to be badgering someone to <laughs> yeah. they do it. But they're the ones. If you're in it, we have an HOA. Uh, lots of people live under HOAs. Mm -hmm. and But a lot of HOA people are kind of like the board of Disney. They're kind of weak. They don't want to confront things themselves. HOAs are a bunch of GGKs. Yeah. That's why I don't well, want to they're, No, join they're not them. GGKs. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're like the Disney board. Oh, it's the, the meetings. Mm -hmm. They're the GGKs, right? The people, the people who, who meet. show up and complain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, yeah. the actual HOAs typically aren't. 
because they actually are responsible for stuff. But when you have that one, like, like I remember outside your mom's house uh, that one year where there was just this trailer parked out. Oh, yeah. There's a mobile home, probably cooking meth or something. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> and they were just taking up all these parking space. They didn't live in the complex. Nope. They just took and, up the parking space. And then they space. just stayed there. And then, but they probably weren't the most savory types of people. Yeah. And a lot of people are probably scared of them. The city kind of wants to ignore them. You know, cops are dealing with more important things yeah. or whatever. There's probably a Karen that got rid of them. Yep. Because that when you when everybody complains about Karens until something Sometimes goes down. Sometimes they're needed though. Until until there's something until there's loud music at two a.m. and your kid can't sleep, but you don't want to go out and confront the, you know, the gangster outside <laughs> blasting the stereo, <laughs> and it's like, oh, I wish somebody would do this, and then good old Karen will come out there. <laughs> You know, hey, people are trying to sleep. <laughs> it's illegal. And she'll cite some municipal code. <laughs> According to the code, you know, yeah. 44-78, you know, you could be arrested for that. Get out of here before we go to police. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm recording you. <laughs> <laughs> and at that moment, everyone praises care. <laughs> everyone loves it because nobody wants to go out there. Yeah. <laughs> and... That's what Chapik is probably good at. You don't want them to usually run the company. You usually want them to be a vice president. And yeah. so the president can look good. Because and he was at the Walt Disney thing. Company for years, for mm-hmm. decades. Yeah. So he was good at what he did. Mm-hmm. And that's probably And he probably cracks the whip. It. He knows how to yeah. crack the whip. But you don't want him to be, you like, like Joe Biden was a goon. Mm-hmm. He was great. So Obama could sit back and look like, I'm above this. You know, you know that Michelle Obama quote, when they go low, we go high. Yeah. Well, the reason they could go high is because of Joe Biden. <laughs> because when you have, he has the goons. Yeah, because if, you, if you have a goon, you can always go high. <laughs> because you know you got somebody down the street that's always going to go low doing for, it you. for you. <laughs> right. Joe Biden, Joe Biden, back in his day, people forget. They have short memories. You know, now he has a short memory. <laughs> but <laughs> people forget that back in the day, Joe Biden would go after people, man. Yeah. He Before there was Twitter and this big um, da 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 Social da, media. Yeah. yeah, he would be like, he would be cracking the whip. That's kind of what um, Chapek was. It's like, you know, Scarlett Johansson says, well, I'm going to sue you. And he's like, well, I'll see you in court. We ain't giving you a dime. She got paid $20 million. You want that in a VP, <laughs> you don't you want, want that, that in you don't, in a CEO, yeah. Yeah. because the CEO can then be like, okay, okay, guys, let's let's come together yeah. and, and talk about it. Mm-hmm. I know that there's some disagreement. What can I do? Mm-hmm. And he looks like the magnanimous one, mm-hmm. and then it doesn't make the paper, and, and then he looks like a hero. Mm-hmm. And then that's the the second in command's job is to be the jerk, so the CEO can look like I'm I'm the I'm the uniter. Yeah. Right. Like Dick Cheney was mm-hmm. a perfect example of that. George W. Bush was just like, oh, well, shucks, I, I'm just going to bail some hay. <laughs> Dick Cheney's out there shooting people in the face with shotguns. <laughs> by accident. <laughs> Allegedly by accident. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you want. That's how you should structure things. But when you make a goon the head of your corporation. Yeah, then that's just. <laughs> oh, you start picking fights you can't win. Yes. He's not going to beat DeSantis in a yes. fight. DeSantis has an entire state behind him, and you're in his state. Yeah. He, he can't. It's not that he's. You who, should be it's above not about that, who's tougher. Right? You should be above that. Be mm-hmm. like the Obama and be like, ah, I won't say anything about this. But then he was getting flack for not saying anything about it. Yeah, because the job of the CEO is to kind of please our parties. You should have your second in command deal with that. Yeah. No, we're not giving, the, you know. LGBTQ people money, or that's a, yeah, we gave money to all these politicians. We give money to every politician. So da 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 da. And he starts a storm, mm-hmm. and he starts going after DeSantis. And DeSantis is like, "Well, I'm going over your head." I, I told my boss this at work, um, in a personal conversation, but you know, he probably won't want me saying. There was one time when I was I was taking some time off, mm-hmm. and then there was uh, somebody who needed to be, let's say, separated, mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's like, "Well, Brian, I I, I can do it." And I'm just like, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't want you to do it. And not, no disrespect, you know, and I had the head of legal on this, mm-hmm. on this as well. And I said, here's the thing. If I go out there and I do something and I do this transaction and something goes horribly wrong, that person or people mm-hmm. always have, can always feel they can go over my head. Mm-hmm. They always feel they can escalate. They, they can escalate. 
and take it yeah. to the next step. Yeah. If you go out there and they feel that, that something went wrong, doesn't it? Because sometimes it's just a feeling. Like yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I just feel like something didn't go. Who are away. they going to escalate it to? Now it gets escalated outside the company yeah. because you're the top guy. Yeah. So now they go to the Department of Labor. They go to the EEOC. They go mm-hmm. to an attorney, mm-hmm. right? So me being the second in command mm-hmm. is is a benefit to the company because if I mess up, and I'm not saying that I will, and I'm mm-hmm. not that I'm not a goon. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna show everyone respect, but that doesn't necessarily mean the other person's gonna take that to heart because right. they're gonna they're being let go. Yeah. So. That's always going to be awkward and tense yeah. and have bad feelings wrapped around it. So if that person feels wrong, having somebody above you is, is, is like having a, a safety on a gun. Yeah, It's like having a regulator on an engine. It, it's yeah. great. And Disney never had that. They took away the safety. Disney became Glock. <laughs> <And> basically, <laughs> now, whatever decisions JPEG makes, the whole company has to live with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what happened. Just, just a wrong. It's just a bad hire. Wrong, wrong, good guy. Probably for, wrong for the position. Yeah. And again, and at the end of the day, the last thing I would say, gotta believe in magic if you're <laughs> gonna create magic. Yep. He believes in numbers. He'd probably be great in. He does uh, believe in numbers. Finance and, and a lot of stuff, but we just go found ahead. out something <laughs> that we new didn't know last week. week. We yeah. didn't know last week. So mm-hmm. there's something new we're adding that. Mm-hmm. JPEG was kind of quote cooking the books. And this is a really big allegation, but that's like what happened was there were two shows that were going to premiere on Disney Plus, mm-hmm. and they were the Mysterious Benedict Society and the Doogie Howser remake. I can't say it a lot. Doogie Kamaloha, mm-hmm. um, MD. So those two shows were supposed to be on Disney Plus, but mysteriously they premiered one day early on the Disney Channel, mm. and this was to fudge the numbers and put the budget onto Disney Channel so that it looked like the streaming, which mm-hmm. was under the DME mm-hmm. department a unit, that made it look like Disney Plus was making all this revenue. Mm-hmm. So they took these two big shows and put it under the Disney Channel budget and just released it on the Disney Channel one day early. And then it went on Disney Plus right. the day after. Mm-hmm. So they said that JPEG was cooking the books and this is the... Straw that broke the camel's back as well. There were a lot yeah. of straws that broke camel's back. Right? A lot of camels. <laughs> a lot, lot of, of camels in physical therapy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's what happens when you take away the PL. See, the board, when, when anytime a CEO starts taking away the PLs from different divisions, mm-hmm. I, uh, you should look at that with skeptical hippo eyes and be mm-hmm. like, wait a minute. Why mm-hmm. are you doing that? Now you could, they'll say, "Oh, it's because you know we want to have tighter financial constraints," and you know, and then of course the board loves that, mm-hmm. you know. But you should always be skeptical of that. And I and I and I tell other people that it's like it's like I've I've told um, C-suite members and board members this in the past, not for the company I work for, but for other companies, that when they do that, that means you're living under kind of an, a financial authoritarian. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like in China or Russia when they start making, you know, private industries, like we're going to um, take those, take these private industries public. Mm. And so now Putin has all of the oil companies under mm-hmm, him, mm-hmm. you know, or reporting to him, or all the banks are now kind of under China, you know. Uh, you start to start looking at that. It's like, well, why would they do that? And it's like, well, they want more control. It's more efficient. Yes, it's more efficient. It's more controls. You, can, you have a better accounting of things. But you can hide a lot of stuff when you're the only one in charge of the money. And if each one of these divisions, like if Disney Plus and the Disney Channel, separate divisions, if they each had their own P&Ls, you can't hide that. Yeah, it's like, why you are can't. you putting this on my budget? Yeah. You know? <laughs> it, yeah, why is it on this? But this is everyone. It's like mm. headed by mm. one person, right? One, one person. Yeah. Dream Daniels is his mm-hmm. boy. And yeah. he's like. Yeah. Oh, well, let's put this over here. Let's so put that this over here. Like let's put this over here. Because that was JPEG's focus, yeah. streaming, right? right? Hulu, ESPN, Disney+. Mm-hmm. Plus. Yeah. So. so, okay. So, for so the second half of this is that... Iger's back. <laughs> <laughs> so... What about the magic button? Oh, you love them. Yes. 
That's more Disney. That's magic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Sunday evening was announced. Everybody knows. And then I, Bob Iger emailed the employees and cast members. So first of all, he didn't know the same time Chapek knew because he had time to write a full email <laughs> to cast members on a Sunday. Right. Um, and his term is two years, and he has two things to do. His but he's back for two reasons. These are his two missions. One is a mandate from the board to set a strategic direction for renewed growth. Mm -hmm. And two is to work closely with the board in developing a successor. Yep. Which so, is, I say it, every CEO's objective. <laughs> you know, right? Even if you're there for 10 years, that should you should always have a succession plan and you should always... Yeah, the um, succession thing. Trying but to grow, the grow your industry, renewed growth, grow your company. Yeah. The renewed growth is the thing that... And I guess that kind of implies a change in direction. Change in direction. Um, he went to work right away to change the direction, which is to get rid of that DME, Disney Media and Entertainment Distribution. Mm -hmm. So right away on Monday, he announced that Kareem Daniels is leaving mm -hmm. and that he's asked the top executives, Dana Walden, Alan Bergman, Christine McCarthy, to work together on designing a new structure that puts more decision-making back into the hands of the creative team. And to rationalize the cost. Right. Um, and this is necessary to reorganize the DME department. Right. Um, yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people are happy about that. I think a lot of people, it, it kind of becomes like this thing where they're, they're so against JPEG that, and, they, <laughs> and, they, and Iger is kind of like the nostalgic thing like oh yes yeah, the return of the king type of thing your problems will be solved everything like that but i don't i think people <laughs> should manage their expectations yeah so exactly e exactly and i if for those of you who think that the reservation system's going away yeah no nah, no no that ain't going away. Go away <laughs> um churros won't be cheaper yeah um <laughs> you know and then for well, the I mean, people he, the he might be able to do some things with certain prices but the big things that people complain about the reservation, reservation system and Genie Plus. Yes, they, they, they ain't going away. Yeah, Genie Plus nope. was. So if started. you thought that if that that was happening, <laughs> <laughs> Genie Plus started when Iger was still there, was yeah. still CEO. So um, that's not going. Maybe there will be some changes. Who knows? They, they because could, they could probably change some things. Now, here's again: if he under Iger, he let everybody shine or dim. On on their on own, their own, on their own merits, yeah, right. That's why the he, that's why the um Chapek had to take away the PNLs because I could let every division have their own PNLs. He believed that if I hired you to do a position, a position, uh, do a job, I believe that you can do it. Obviously, yeah. So I'm gonna let you do it. You, you know, take the credit for it, but you also take the yeah. fall. Yeah, you'll get all the credit or all the blame, and that all depends on you. Yeah. So. You know, so I, I, again, it, 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 it was that, <laughs> that quote from Steve Jobs that he repeated. You know, we don't hire smart people to tell them what to do. We hire smart people to tell us what to do. Yes, that's, that's Iger. The, that's Iger. That's yeah. different than JPEG, and that's yes. the major difference. Yes. And so when you think about these things, so, for example, uh, Josh DeMauro, who's very engaged yeah. and very— People's person. I think he, sh he should probably be considered for next up. That's who they, they're looking at. They're yeah. looking at him and Dana Walden. Dana Walden's in charge of television. Mm -hmm. DeMauro's in charge of parks. Mm -hmm. But they don't think two years is enough time for each of them to learn each other's business. Right. But— But I knows? think that— Chapek came out of video sales. I mean, <laughs> he was in charge of parks too. He was a, but I guess yeah, he now learned a lot. They're 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 gun shy because that they made that mistake with Chapek, where he only had one type of experience, and they don't want to do that again. So the first thing I will say, you know, before I get too ahead of myself, the one thing about the P and Ls, and I keep mentioning that why that's so important. So people need to keep this in their mind. Um, for when they make arguments online or whatever you're gonna do, <laughs> <laughs> is that tomorrow hopefully we'll get his PLs back because mm -hmm. his yeah. were taken too. So yeah. that means if he wants to adjust the pricing, like maybe he doesn't like, maybe he didn't want to like do the scaling of the Genie Plus, yeah, to where it changes prices every day, or or maybe or, he just wants to change the system altogether. Right. So he gets he, 
basically he will get a goal of, of this is your budget. Now make us revenue within your budget by using this budget and rationalize the cost. And right? rationalize That's the, the goal. Kind of, yeah, rationalize, rationalize the, the cost. cost. And and but when you're given that freedom, say hey, now I'll go do it. And you don't have a financial guy that has to sign off on everything you do. You're allowed to be innovative. Yeah. You're allowed to be more creative. Creative. Yep. And people say, well, how does having somebody sign off hurt innovation? Because you have to operate because, in the confines because of the budget. One, you you it it's 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 not that even if that guy signed off on every single thing I did mm-hmm. I have to go for him for every single idea that means I have to have a proof of concept yeah every single time I approach him yeah as as opposed to me being the final one saying you know what I trust my guy Jim um he's bringing this to me he it looks fine I trust him the same way I go trust me I'm going to let him run with this mm-hmm. Instead of saying, okay, Jim, wait a minute, I got to go to Mr. Analyst and get this <laughs> signed off. For one, it usurps you my authority. Pitch it to somebody. And, and the thing is, is if, if it's 17 different approaches, because you have a big team and they're all coming to you with different ideas, yeah. I don't want to go to this guy 17 times. Right. Even it's, if I know he'll say yes to every one of them. Yes. It's like, no, I only want to go to him. I, you only want to go to the well once, maybe twice. Yeah. And so that's going to hurt innovation. Right. But if I if I if but I if I'm in charge of my own PLs, I could say, bring me all your ideas. I don't care if there's a hundred thousand of them. Right. And then we'll all look at this Just, as a team. Yeah. And we'll go over and we'll go over the pros and cons and we'll we'll brainstorm and da 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 da. We can even set our own schedule. Yeah. You know, and our our own critical path model and to to, to whatever goal we're trying to reach. And and, and it's all done in house in my division. Just take television. Okay, there's the parks people, right, who mm-hmm. thinks everything's going to be glorious and roses and mm-hmm. no reservation system. Then there's the, the film people, mm-hmm. fans, who are like, oh, maybe Marvel Phase 5 will be better. Well, just think of that like you were just saying about DeMarro and his own P&L. Feige and his own p Like, I think under the old leadership or the previous leadership, imagine if Feige had to go to... Kareem Daniels for every single like CGI or whatever. Like how yeah. boxed in is that? So now like all like the we're gonna spend, you know, I need to spend ten million dollars on CGI for the next Avengers movie. No, that's ridiculous. That's you ridiculous. know, because you're asking that's, a finance person. You, you, that's like, you know, such yeah. percentage of your budget. You yeah. Know I mean? And it's like yeah, but it's like and it's not that the guy he's asking isn't smart, it's like He's not in filmmaking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you got to leave it up to the creative people yeah. like Iger wants to do. He's like, I know my budget. Yeah. I'm saying it's worth, you know, $10 million out of my budget to do this. Yeah. You know, it's like, whatever. Yeah. Let me worry about that, you know. And, yeah, I think now, so that's how it could positively affect you. So if people are hoping for some changes, it could it will happen in that kind of construct. Yes. It won't be... As you know, simple as people are thinking, yeah, it's not just like this gets d- d- done away with. It. Some things maybe, but mo- yeah. not the big things. That but are the really good thing is, yes, Josh Demarro is more of a people's person, and, and he's engaging. He engaging. listens to fans. He listens to guests. Yeah, and I also think he would be a good um, successor in, in because he understands huge budgets. Mm-hmm. Park revenue is what is fueling Disney. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um, so if he understands that revenue, even if he doesn't understand the television side as much, if he took, takes Iger's approach and say, look, I trust you to do good. Yeah. Here's your budget. I understand yeah. budgets. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I don't understand television, but I understand budget. Yeah. So here's your budget. I know how to create revenue. Yeah. I know how, what the parks take. So I know I'm going to keep bringing in money regardless because I know that part of the the thing right so um and i know people because the moral is not just a guy who sits in the office he's in the parks he's, yeah he i don't even to, know if he talks to cast members he talks to cast members of all levels yes he talks to janitorial staff he talks to managers he talks to vice presidents he talks to guests you yeah know, he like, talks to guests he answers to gothic rosie's like tags he, he's liked some <laughs> of our stuff on instagram yeah like he you know you could say well no that's not him, that's probably you know his intern or somebody <laughs> that's that's answering that. Okay, but who cares? But, but no, 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 no. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's still effort. Yeah. If, I, if I'm going to hire somebody to 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 like stuff of 
a random Too podcast yeah, yeah. out there, that means I'm thinking about random content creators out there and how they affect our space and yeah. how they affect our product. Yes. That takes intelligence. That takes foresight. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, I, JPEG never did that. JPEG's no. not doing any of that. I don't even know if JPEG ever even had a town hall. No. And what's the first thing Iger does when he comes back? Yeah, tomorrow there's a town hall. Tomorrow's a town hall for Addressing all the, for all all the cast members. Yeah, yeah, and cast members. But I don't even think JPEG, like, I know I joke about it, but JPEG's like the Asian dad and Iger's <laughs> like the American dad. <laughs> Hey, you know, Asian dads. Tracy's Asian. She's. <laughs> I'm not Asian. <laughs> Asian dads don't give hugs, which is why th- this probably explains why I like robots over people. Because I don't like the whole like, "Hey, how's it going? What's the weather like?" Before calls, I'm more like, "Can we get on with this?" Like, you know, like I'm. I'm not here to talk about Thanksgiving. It's the day after. It's the Monday after. But what if a robot loved you? <laughs> Yeah, I always thought Vision should have been sacrificed because he's just a robot. He doesn't have feelings. It's convenient. You know, like he could say he could have saved billions. Anyways. I'm, I love you, Tracy. I'm a robot and I'm capable of emotion. <laughs> okay, now you're really having fun with this new thing. But yeah, so sometimes that's not good, right? If you're in a Disney space. Like, so. Yeah. Chapek is like the Asian dad who's like who cares about you know you but you can't be the Asian dad when you're running a company like Disney who's Mm-mm. all into it's like all about cuddles. feelings and cuddles oh, yeah and, you know all this stuff so <laughs> feelings so are we need person. Iger and Demo- <laughs> I think tomorrow is more like the you know American dad Tracy has a lot to talk about with her counsel <laughs> in the next session but moving on <laughs> we, 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 uh, yeah I mean. That's what you see. Yeah. You do need to pay attention to your um, to your to your employees, your cast members for Disney. Yeah, and it it is they are an important part of why people who are hardcore fans like you and I, and people who are even way hard more hardcore fans, you know, mm-hmm. um, feel the magic at Disney. Ninety percent of that is the cast members. You can you could make something that's super immersive and. Mm-hmm. You know, you could do everything with a CGI. There's a reason, and I, and this is kind of a, a weird example, but I hope people kind of get it. There's a reason why critics love Andor more than Obi Wan, the show, the two shows, mm-hmm. because Obi Wan was shot all on CGI screens. I forgot what they call it, but the valley mm-hmm. or something. It's mm-hmm. like these scenes that you, but it, even though it looks like you're in a desert, you can tell you're not. Because mm. there's limited movement, mm-hmm. there's you can't take wide panoramic shots of the character out to the horizon, standing on a mm-hmm. cliff. Um, like in Andor, you're in a they're in a town, and you can see people just going about their daily business. People are yeah. walking here, here. Some of the stuff is impromptu. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, somebody slips and falls, they might keep that th- in. It's it looks natural, and it, th- that's important. Yeah, you know, yeah. and. Uh, yeah, so it's important. Organic can be important. Yes. So, um, <sighs> the other speculation: take a bite out of the apple. Oh, <laughs> yes, that one. Which it, we'll, we'll just comment on a little bit, but yes, there is rumors that Iger may want to sell Disney to Apple. And again, as a fan, as a guest, I always have concerns about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, as a shareholder, uh, nah, not not bad. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I think that sometimes if that were to happen, there's a lot of negative things that could happen. Mm-hmm. Because you could look at Apple as a big JPEG, right? Yeah. They could totally just be ruin the micromanagement, culture whatever. ruin the culture and everything. But it w- I think they're into innovation. I think they're... Um, they have the young minds, though. They have young minds. There's a lot of millennials working for them. Because um, we do know Disney's app and website. Yeah, I, I think obviously their te- <laughs> so technology is going to improve. They do need that I part. would say improve my technology, but yeah. <laughs> um, and it also protects Disney because Disney is kind of like this cobbled together empire of television, movies, parks, 
And then even one with in each division, there's like this separate, you know, things. It's like mm-hmm. a, the Asian parks are not the same as the American parks, and oh. you know, Disney World has different issues than Disneyland, yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. and vice versa. And so you, so if you have this umbrella company over you that's super strong and isn't going anywhere for a thousand years, um, it kind of prevents vultures from picking off little pieces of you. And it's like a death by a thousand cuts. So, Mm -hmm. like, you know, like, they're at one point thinking about selling off ESPN. Well, you know, Apple probably is not going to do that. It's like, no, we we want to have our own sports channel. We're going to keep that. Mm -hmm. We we, we want everything. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. We're going to share things up. You know, it's kind of like, you know, putting the cock in the cracks, you know, putting, um, doing the repairs. They'll make it look nice. Will the feeling be the same? That's the concern. Yeah, I think that's the concern. But, I'm surprised but it will protect it from like a I, – I would definitely, as opposed to like a Comcast or a Verizon purchasing that, yeah. <laughs> I would be like, yeah, Well, because I'm surprised is usually pe- companies that are being bought out are companies that are struggling. Disney's its own empire in and of itself. Why would it want to be bought? Um, but like you said, because they don't want to be picked they, apart – because if you're looking at entertainment as a whole, it's not really – like if, if I was a financial advisor, I'm not. But I don't think there's too many people – like I have Disney stock, but I purchased that on my own. I do not – I would never have that as part of my 401K. Mm-hmm. I, w- I would never have any entertainment company as part of a 401K because mm-hmm. it's – the stock market is already speculative enough. Mm-hmm. Now you don't want, you know uh, – a bad end game or something <laughs> and, 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 and to, to determine whether or not I'm going to be able to, you know, which car I'm going to get when I retire. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's entertainment is so, is already fickle. The fact that they have as big an empire as they do is amazing because it's, it's really just, they said the stock market is just a graph of rich people's feelings. Well, imagine a graph of rich people's feelings and now that graph in, and now your particular graph inside that graph is dependent on the general public's feelings. Everything is emotion. It's mm. entertainment. The utility of Disney is very little. Yeah. You know, it's not if Disney went if Disney disappeared, me, you, all of our listeners would be in the field position, right? <laughs> Crying. The general public be like, nah. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> you know. I was looking forward to the next Avengers film, but that <laughs> that's about it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but if if a big company like Ford or um, Comcast that has a lot of companies goes away, including utility stuff that you need, you know, like to make phone calls and Internet, if all that stuff goes away and you feel it in every household across the, the world, uh, yeah. And, that, and that's the type of stuff you want. That's the kind of company. It's a, it's a horrible company, but that's the kind of things, unfortunately, we want to invest our money in is things that are as close to utility as possible. Yeah. And um, entertainment is just not, not that. that. But mm-hmm. if you get bought by an Apple, now you're part of a company that provides infrastructure, <laughs> right? Uh, iPhones are going to be around forever. They have corporate contracts that go out. I mean, what kind of corporate contact contracts do Disney have? Oh, come to a, a convention at our hotels. I mean, that's basically it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's maybe we can give you Disney Plus in a hotel room. You know, if you're a Marriott, <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. But I mean, they're corporate. Again, f- going back to the beginning of the podcast, B to C versus B to B. Yeah, Disney has very little B to B capability. Yeah, but if they're bought by a B to B company, you're safer. That's what they should do. Yeah, to do B to B, be more B to B, or like get into that space is have contracts with Marriott. Yeah. Be like, hey, here's a big contract with Marriott. Mm-hmm. We have landed a big deal, and we get, yeah. and we what we'll what you can do is we'll Marriott will pay you a yeah. lot, and not a big deal, and offer Disney Plus inside every hotel room. And you would get millions and millions of dollars for that. You're not getting billions for that, though. You're not getting. Yeah, but billions, at least billions. it's a space that they got. It's a space, but it's. I'm not saying they shouldn't do that. I'm just saying, it's it's not like a an Amazon like, y- if we go away, we're dragging. 6,000 companies with us. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we're too big to fail. Fail. Yeah. Disney is, any. there's no entertainment company that's too big to fail. And I'm not saying too big to fail is a good thing, 
I'm just saying if you're investing, you want to invest in something that's too big to fail because right. then that means you'll never fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that's basically what I'm saying. Mm. So um, I just wanted to do a quick podcast. <laughs> but it ended up being an hour. Yeah, because um, <laughs> it's a big topic. And we will follow up because I already told people we're not doing one this week. Yeah. So if this one doesn't work, uh, we're still not doing one this week. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm Brian. I'm Tracy. Stay magical. Bye. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit us at www.ropedroppingknowledge.com.